My name is Margo Woods, and I was born with cerebral palsy, and I moved to the Carolinas to be closer to my family. When I arrived, I found myself not having the services I needed to remain in my home. And then, then I went to legal services and met Madison Hardy and she helped me attain the services needed for me to remain at home and to prevent me from being institutionalized. It made such an impact on my life that I will never be able to repay Madison for helping me the way she did because it made me able to stay at home and be with my family, which was of paramount importance to me. My name is Greg. I joined the Navy in 1987. Over the 13 years, I spent many months at sea and in other countries and participated in a lot of training exercises that were very demanding and highly stressful. And uh, around the 13th year point, uh, I developed a drug and alcohol problem. It was discovered and I was discharged under uh, other than honorable. I sought treatment for my drug and alcohol uh, problem and was denied based on my type of discharge. I uh, struggled with homelessness, uh, alcoholism, drug addiction, felt like I was abandoned and, uh, and alone. At that point, I went to legal services to, um, to receive help. The attorney at legal services uh, contacted the uh, VA regional office and under the conditions that I had served 12 years of honorable service, it was able to allow me to receive access to VA benefits and as a result I have medical, I have treatment, I have housing assistance. After uh, treatment and assistance and counseling um, I am currently uh, almost a year sober and also I am currently attending college classes to move forward and today I feel very hopeful and I felt like I've been helped and I have a new direction in life. There's hope there's a future, there's people out there who care, who hasn't forgotten what I've done for my country. My name is Sandra Chavez. I came from Mexico escaping from sexual abuse by my father. And when I came to this country, I was trying to, to find a better life. And I'm married but I'm married to a guy who, who don't deserve me because he was an abuser. When I was uh, through the domestic violence in my life, I feel that I don't want any, anything. One day he just tried to kill me. We just ran, my son and me, and my little baby. I moved to North Carolina and start over. I had the visit of Liga Lay talking about domestic violence and there I meet Dora McDonald and she explained to me that about uh, domestic violence and what I can do after I report my case. They helped me to get my U visa and I'm successful right now because I can do it, I can travel, I can, I can feel confident. Right now I am an artist, I'm a singer, I record my first CD when I came to Liga Lay. My life changed a lot because I can talk to everybody about what they can do in a domestic violence case. I can help people to change their lives also by the way they legally changed mine.